Hello, hello, all my sisters in Christ out there and the brothers in Christ that are also listening. I haven't made a talking video in a while. I went a bit through a very tough time. Yes, the month of August was very cold here in South Africa, very cold winter. And yeah, challenging time. I've lost my dad on the 19th of August this year, 2024. And needless to say, it's not easy. I'm still working through it. God is still carrying me through daily. You get your days that you are down and then you get the days with, with the, when, you, when you're up again. And just think about the good times and love. Not so good times is sad. But anyway, God is good all the time. And all the time, let me hear, God is good. Just the mere fact that I can sit here today and on the 14th of October and encourage you again and find joy after I was in a dip. That's grace and grace alone. Now, I quickly want to share with you um, a scripture that I have read this morning. You know, usually when we ask things of God, we ask the Lord for material things or we ask the Lord maybe for health or for safety, etc., but this morning I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to ask God to break the word, his word open for me. Because there are people that really can, have, they have such revelation when they read the scriptures. Jesus is the word. And when they talk about what the Holy Spirit reveal unto them, it is really um eye-opening it is just a wow factor and i said to the lord i'm also your child i have this burning desire to also see beyond the scripture in depth also and the reason for that is because i love the lord and I want to make him more and more in my life, more about him and less about me because the flesh, Letitia, we are just focused on, on the cares of this world, what we need and our wants on this earth. But why not start just push my, me, the flesh aside a bit, forget about, you know, me for a while and just focus on God, focus on Jesus who he is, what he was, um, what he locked up in the Bible for us to discover, and yeah, so that was my prayer this morning, and God is so faithful. And when I read the scripture this morning, I decided I'm going to read the scripture of the day according to the 365 plan at the back of my KJV Bible and see where I can start. And I opened the Bible by the scripture for the day is the book of St. John and chapter 7. Now, I want to read you what I read here. It's from um, verse 1. Let me see. Okay, let me just start. Jesus teaches at the Feast of Tabernacles. After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry, because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brethren therefore said unto him, listen to what his brethren said, Depart hence, and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, shew thyself to the world. Now this was the, the verse that I want to talk on. For neither did his brethren believe in him. And I take it his brethren, they're talking here about... It's his brothers, his siblings. Nice cup of decaf. Anyway, 
Now, if you look at the title, ladies of this teaching is Jesus from Mary's perspective and what she went through. Let me just keep this ad at the back. Um, just be with me quickly. Oh, and there we go on. From the viewpoint of Mary, and I was thinking Mary was a woman just like me. She was a mother just like me and just like you listening. When we read the Bible, it's almost like it is, we talk from looking from the outside in. Sometimes, I don't know about you, it seems almost like those people were just either supernatural or it's almost like when you watch a movie. The characters are um, not real. You know, I don't know, is it um, fiction? Fictitious, I don't want to even attempt that big word. ex Afrikaans means it. But anyway, um, but when you read the Bible, sometimes you can do the same thing. It's almost like those people were perfect and it happened in this perfect sitting. And it's like, you know, everything is just supernatural or abnormal. But I asked the Lord to open the scriptures for me. And for the first time, <laughs> I thought about it. The Holy Spirit pointed out, Jesus' brethren... They didn't believe in him. Meaning, they didn't believe he was the son of God. They didn't believe he was God. Now, can you think from Mary's perspective how it went on? Or how it played off? I imagine myself <laughs> being a South African colored woman. Know how colored people will talk. And the culture of colors, it will go something like this. <laughs> I wish I could say it in Afrikaans, but I will say it in, 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 in English. Imagine it is the brethren, Jesus' brothers, talking. Ne? Imagine teenage boys, they is talking aside about this whole thing about Jesus now and everything that happened that they've heard now from the older people regarding uh, the circumstances around Jesus' birth it will go something like that yo my bro who does Jesus think he is maybe they would have given him a, a nickname who does she think he is no man mommy could must have thought out another story man manita my bro how saying he was the son of God, how must daddy feel? I wonder, man, I mean, I mean, it's my tiny, but really, you really think, man, she could have thought out another story, she could have said most that she, you know, you went with another guy, say God made a pregnancy. No, man, something like that. Then I was thinking, I'm just watching the time here. I was thinking, how did Mary feel? Nobody believed her. Nobody believed the story. People are people. Whether it's thousands of years ago or in today's time. It's, it's eight minutes. If it goes over TikTok, people, you must go listen, finish on YouTube. I will put my YouTube channel um, in the bio. And yes, because I'm not going to stop now because it's almost 10 minutes. I'm going to continue my story. If you like this story, you will go check out my YouTube channel and see the other videos there. So yeah, people are people. People of those yesterday are the people of today. People don't change. We are human beings. Our minds work the same. We operate in the same way. We get tempted by the same devil. So... Mary must not have had a feast. From the beginning, from the onset, people always seek to gossip. You know how women are. Not that men gossip less. Sometimes I think they love gossip more than women. But imagine when she came betrothed 
engaged to Joseph, pregnant Joseph, you know, Joseph one planned to <laughs> divorce her in secret. And then the angel of the Lord appeared to him and told him, don't, don't let go of, of Mary. She didn't sleep around. That seed inside of her is from God. It's from the Holy Spirit. She never slept around. You're safe. So, what did the other people say? They must have scorned Mary, laughed at her. How did she feel? Showing her face in public, growing bigger and bigger, people gossiping behind their hands about wondering who Mary slept with and having the audacity to say that she was impregnated by God. We read it now thousands of years later. We know the story. We've got the whole Bible in front of us from Genesis to Revelation. We can follow the pattern. We grew up, some of us grew up with the Bible. So for us, it, we take it for granted. It's not a thing of, we never um, even thought about or doubted um, that it was different. We grew up with that. And people from all the other religions that um, don't have difficulty believing in it, because in their holy books, Jesus are being described as a sinless man, although they may not say he's God, only a prophet, but he's known, his reputation was to be um, a holy man, and they honor Mary. In some Christian denominations, they give Mary um, a place that um, she's not supposed to get because she's not a God, she's not interceding for us, we can't it's, it's, it's go through her um, to Jesus. That is like one preacher just plain say that is corruption. Um, that is um, taking away from God, from Jesus, what he really did. Like going through her now to him, that's not biblical. We go straight through Jesus Christ, um, through him to God. Mary was just a human being. She was just a woman like me and you. Yes, and um, as we are mothers of our beloved children and sons, um, yeah, she wasn't God. No way it was prophesied in the Bible that she had to add a special place or intercede for us or prayed to her. Um, no, it is not biblical, as outside of biblical instructions, just to throw that in there. Although um, she is being respected, I also would like to be respected as a mother, what I have to go through. <laughs> raising my children, currently raising my two boys that are still with me in the house, both are still teenagers. Um, my daughter being out already at the age of 25 and every mother of teenage boys that are raising boys um, can relate. It's not an easy task raising a man. It's not. We need to be celebrated for that, but not worshipped. I don't want to um, be worshipped and take God's glory, Jesus' glory away from him because I didn't die for myself and I didn't die for the sins of the world and I didn't die for my children. Jesus did. So yeah, bring on the the the... the wows and the compliments and the encouragement for being a mother of two men but uh, i don't deserve any worship nobody does so yes that is what the lord this morning when i did the scripture reading revealed to me mary didn't have it easy hmm? she was scorned she was mocked she was gossiped about how did she feel how did she look in her in her children's eyes how did how do we feel when our children don't think that we as mothers for example are worthy enough of respect or honor you know a males tend to have more respect and honor for their fathers when they get that adolescent age and um up because they find their manhood that is the time where the dads really have to set a perfect example because they don't look up to mommy now anymore for that, the law of the mother. They will go to mommy for encouragement, to a, a shoulder to crown, but they definitely are not going to go to mommy easily for advice. And if they want advice, they're going to ask it 
in a very subtle way. That is just being part of a young man, healthy young man growing up. So, um, but what do we as mothers experience at that age, when they get that age? We feel, know, we feel that our role is finished, um, not appreciated, sad, used up, <laughs> stupid, um, not worthy. That is how we feel because since that child is in your womb, you care for that baby, you eat properly, you take care of yourself, you are careful. And when that baby comes out, you are still taking care when that first steps must come, when they, when they run, when they crawl, whatever. You are there changing their nappies, their diapers. And you feel important when you um, drop them at school, when you go pick them up, or you put your life on hold for them. You are so important. You are everything. And then they reach that age, all of a sudden, mommy is not good enough anymore. So how did Mary feel? When she might have heard her own children, um, Jesus' siblings, talking about that, about her. But you know, when did Jesus' brethren believe? After he died and he was resurrected, like he said he would. Huh? She was vindicated and then they believed on him. And maybe then they said, oh, oh, I guess mommy never lied after all. Sorry, mommy. Sorry, man, for thinking that way. So I want to end off. You see, I've got stars in my eyes because I took courage. And I want to encourage you with this. So yes, ladies, our time is coming when we will reap the fruit of our labor if we continue keeping our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ keep on praying for our children stay on our knees trusting the Lord although it's tough times the light is gonna come one day the light has to shine through so, these are Afrikaans proverbs that proverb that say in, in the word of God, say lach or die dag wat kom. She laughs for the day to come, meaning I laugh because I know glorious days are coming. Good days are coming. Yes, for me, personally, as God's daughter, seeing, having faith, in the things that I don't see now, but I'm hoping for. Faith is the evidence of things hoped for, the things not yet seen that must still come. And clinging on to Jeremiah 29, 11, where the Lord says, I know the plans I have for you, not only for me, for my family, for my children, for their future, and for you who is listening plans to prosper you to prosper us and not to harm us to give us a hope and a future but remember as we don't always give our children's ways the way they want it and they can't see that we it's for their own good we can't always see when the lord say no to us that is for our own good because we want to see the whole plan our whole plan in front of us that's not faith we need to just Remind ourselves daily that God is good, that God is love and not listen to the adversary that wants always so faithful in putting things in our head, accusing our brethren, accusing God of being a tyrant, being hateful. You know, he's good at that. Stay in the word of God. Read it, focus on it. Don't tell it. And ask what I ask, Lord, reveal to me. The deeper word because it brings joy. These stars in my eyes was there yesterday. But just reading the word and asking the Lord for the first time something other than, you know, earthly things, just to know about Him, 
brought that peace and stars into my eyes and that hope. Ik slaan my oor op na die berge waar sal my help vandaan kom, my help is van die Heere, vir jimmel en aarde gemaakt het. Psalm 23 My help is from God who made heaven and earth, because unto him and up to him I look. Be sterk vrou, be strong woman, find courage in Jesus Christ. Mary went through worse than what we are going through. She had to see before the, the joyous day of the Lord's resurrection, she had to see him die a painful death. So, have a blessed day. Keep praying for your children. Keep praying for our young men. Keep praying for your husbands. And do for me the same because I pray for you. Shalom. Peace be unto you from Jesus Christ our Lord. Till next time. Bye.